Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be getting ready to get dressed um, and then get Ella dressed. We're going to be running over to Dollar General here in a minute. I got a few things I got to pick up over there, organizational type things um, to help organize back here because it's a bit chaotic right now. Um, my lens looks like it needs cleaned. That's better. Um, but I did want to uh, show you guys the decals that I have made. So I've been a weeding fool with these decals. Um, last night was a bit rough. I was not feeling well at all last night. Um, I don't know. Part of me thinks it was the chicken broccoli alfredo that I had eaten for lunch. I don't think it was any good. Um, and I was very, like, my belly was very upset last night. Um, but real quick, you guys, I told you guys we were working on stuff like this. So this, we have a design for the S20 Plus so that I can make it out of plain vinyl, like, colors. Or I can put a special picture on it. Tim put a picture of Ella on it for me. Um, and he actually just did one for his phone today. So things are starting to go good. Um, he has the, he has a OnePlus phone. I don't remember the brand of, or the like model of it. But um, I got some decal orders in. Well, she hasn't ordered them yet. But she like requested these special decals. Um, so I went ahead and got them ready for her. You've got Crazy Goat Lady. You've got the, I forget what this is called, but it's like the buck in the dough symbol. She's got one that says Country Girl with the little dough on it. She's got this one, which it's going to be hard to read, but it says Easily Distracted by Cows with a cow over here. Um, she's got a pair of like cowboy boots here, and it says Blame It All on My Roots. If you guys know that song reference. Um, and then she also requested this one, which it says, this heifer don't take no bull. Um, it's a cow with a little bow. So we got those, or I got those all ready for her. Um, let me get those put back. I've just been keeping hers like separate so that, you know, I know that that's what she has, but um, so I just did these ones this morning. This is obviously a pit bull. It says "Band stupid people, not the breed. Uh, you've got this, like, skull wearing a American flag mask with the middle fingers. This one was a pain to weed out because of his skeleton fingers. You've got this wolf that I did yesterday. You've got another one of the, I think it's called the bucking. Am I, is, is that what... It is maybe, I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. No, I don't, I don't remember, but yeah, there's that one. Um, You've got this one, which says love, but it's got like an axe, Jason's mask. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but then you've got like Freddy's claws. Show me your bobbers. <laughs> Tim picked this one, said show me your pities. Um, you've got this one for those, uh, like mainly for like pediatric nurses. Got you'll float too in the shape of a balloon, and you've got Pennywise. You've got love with a paw print. You've got the it, you know, f it thing. Um, I have one, but I still need to fix it. Um, it's f it, and then it's supposed to say before it f's you, you know. Um, but I need to recut the before because when Tim did it, the before was just way too small and I just could not weed it. Um, and then by far my favorite one, it's a little T-Rex holding a little T-Rex like gripper thing. It says, I am unstoppable. 
So those are all gonna be getting listed up on my Etsy. Um, Tim made a valid point. We made them all in black and I'm going to be offering all the different colors, but this way people can see what it looks like. So I got all of those done. Um, I think, I don't remember if I showed you guys these ones, but this one, um, I think I showed this one, but it's the Punisher skull. We made this for my friend. Um, he got a big one though, but there's this one. Uh, Tim wanted me to do this one. It's Majora's Mask from The Legend of Zelda. You've got this mama bear in like this holographic uh, vinyl. And then you've got Toyota. Um, so those are all... These ones are all listed up already. The first set that I showed you are still in the process of getting listed up. Um, along with the like country girl, crazy goat lady, stuff like that. So those are all gonna be getting listed up here really soon. I'm hoping to get them all listed up tonight. Um, ones like the band the people or band stupid people, not the breed and the like show me your pities are gonna be listed up under the same thing. Um, the Pennywise and You'll Float 2 will go up under the same thing. This one will probably go with the Pitbulls. Um, let's see. And then we have one, you know, like this. And then we also have just the skull, like, middle finger hand that I will need to cut out. Um, there's quite a few more, I think, that still need to be cut. Um, but I'm just taking a little break for today because my hand is tired of weeding. Um, and then also we have, um, Tim told me to get onto the site called 143 Vinyl, um, and told me to get a bunch of vinyl from there. Um, can we not play with the computer? Close it. Close it, please. Thank you. Um, so I ordered about $50 worth of vinyl. So, that's coming. Um, and then I do believe Friday, um, I have a cow family mold for keychains being delivered. Um the one that requested those six decals that I showed you. Um, she also wanted a family of cows and then she wanted two, like a buck and a doe keychain and then a buck and a doe like baby keychain. So I've got those I gotta make. Um, I need to, what day is today? Wednesday. Tonight I need to make an owl, like a mama and a baby owl. Uh, my aunt's supposed to be coming to pick those up. Um, things are just, things are happening. So, those are going to be getting listed up into my Etsy real soon. But, for now, I'm going to run over town. I need to see about getting piping bags, another, um, tote, maybe another, like, three-drawer organizer. I need to see what they've got over there. Um, so, I guess I will see you guys when I get back and show you guys what I got. Alright, guys, so, we're home. Um, she's got, you know, play food everywhere. And Tim just came over to mow. Um, but you guys can see I've been doing laundry. So, um, I've got one, lo or one load folded. One that needs to be folded. One that's in the washer, one that's in the dryer. Plus I lose laundry. So, <sighs> My head is throbbing. I don't know why, um, but my head is just pounding right now. Um, it started like, I don't know, almost as soon as I went over town. Um, it started, like I wasn't even out of the car. I had just gotten into the car before we went over and it started, I don't know. 
it hurts so bad. Like, I'm having trouble concentrating, but I um, figured I would show you guys what I picked up from over town. So I did stop at our little grocery store over town. Um, I was gonna get her some oranges because she hasn't really had a whole lot of oranges in a while. Um, it's not even Tim, it's our neighbor. He's driving me nuts. Um, he always seems to mow whenever I start vlogging out this way. But I was gonna get her some oranges and I was like squeezing them to like make sure that they weren't overripe or whatever. And you guys, my finger went through one. They weren't that bad. Like, skin, like, peel and all, like, finger went through it. So we didn't get any oranges. Their fruit and veggie prices are ridiculous. Like, it was a bag of halos, I think they were. Um, like, the little, like, mandarin-type oranges. And they wanted eight bucks for it. But I was going to get it because, you know, she hasn't had oranges in a while. But I'm just going to wait till I go up to Walmart th later this week because that is just ridiculous. And I have to get my Singular and stuff like that um, for, you know, obviously my asthma. Um, however, I picked up a thing of the Jif peanut butter. It's a pound container. Like I said, I got this with Wick. Um, let me get my receipt out real quick. I'm gonna tell you guys prices so you guys can see how ridiculous this place is. So the peanut butter was $3.49. I got a 12 ounce box of kicks, and this was $4.69. I got a 12 ounce box of Cheerios, and this was $4.69. Those prices, not bad. Not good, but not bad. Got a thing of cherry juicy juice. And this was $4.49. And then I got a thing of the Welch's grape, white grape juice. That was $6.19 for that. So at Walmart, let's see. Let me go into my Walmart app and kind of scan this stuff and see what this would cost at Walmart. Okay, this is just gonna add everything in and then I can go from there. So it's currently out of stock. Okay. Maybe they don't sell the small boxes at Walmart. Okay, so, let me go into my cart here. The Juicy Juice at Walmart is $2.98, so $3 as opposed to almost $5. Uh, that was for the Juicy Juice. The White Grape Juice at Walmart is $3.68. $3.68, it is $6.19 over at my local store. The peanut butter is $2.28 at Walmart. It was $3.49 at my store. That's a bit ridiculous in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't think they sell the 12 ounce thing of Cheerios. Uh, let's see. They have a 10.8 ounce of Honey Nut Cheerios. That's $2.98. It was $4.69 for plain Cheerios over town. It's th Their prices are ridiculous. Like for an 18 ounce thing at Walmart, it is $3.98. For a 12, it was $4.69 or $4.69 for a 12 ounce. How is that even legal? Like, it, it drives me nuts. They increase their prices 
so much all because they are one of the I mean they're the only actual grocery store we have a Dollar General they sell some things but they're the only actual grocery store in town and they're charging that much because people just don't want to go up to Walmart and drive the 15 miles to go get a few things the only way I will shop there is with Wick I refuse to buy anything else over there because their prices are just so ridiculous anyways moving right along picked up these two things of M&Ms at um, Dollar General because you know always 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 thinking of resin opportunities so I got those I got this um, it's a cake like all-purpose all-purpose decorating kit um, it says it's the brand baked with love um, it comes with three tips and six icing bags so um, six 12 inch bags three tips and a coupler um, I'm not sure what the coupler is but I guess we'll find out there here in a minute um, if I can this is needed for my one project that I'm going to be doing like on like for Etsy um, I'm hoping to test it out tonight and see how it goes but yeah it comes with a coupler tip um, this is I think the flower tip or the open star maybe closed star this is a ruffle tip this is the closed star and this is the open star um, anyways Tim came in um, I guess he texted me told me to bring him his headlamp but I didn't get that text I don't know um, anyways it comes with those tips and then it comes with like I said six icing bags get those back in here and then just for the sake of having them I picked up um, another 10 pack of the decorating bags same brand as this set um, this was three dollars the set was five dollars so I grabbed those grabbed some blueberry waffles from over there because at my local store that I got like the juice and stuff at the, their waffles are $2.59 I think and they were $1.75 over town so I just went with over town um, and that's for like the generic store brand over there the Eggo would be I think they were like $4 for a box or something like that but I just got the Clover Valley um, blueberry waffles and then I picked up another tote same kind of tote that I always get it's a true living essential storage tote it's a five gallon it was four dollars um, like I said I need this because my resin stuff is starting to take up way too much room in one tote so I have a tote for molds and one for like the glitter stirring sticks gloves and stuff like that so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get all this stuff put away, get my receipts scanned with the um, fetch rewards and get some laundry folded and everything before dinner's gotta get started. It is currently 5.52, so my head is killing me um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sign off for today. That's it, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all tomorrow, bye.